This is a very unique restaurant. Indoor food trucks and a real Greyhound bus above the bar. Do you want to know what's going on inside the bus? Keep watching, I'll show you. This is awesome! in the tourist town of Wisconsin Dells, just north of Madison, and I'm at a very unique restaurant. They have indoor food trucks and a bar, and like you saw in the opening, a big bus above the bar. I'm walking into the Grateful Shed right now, where they've got the indoor food trucks and a big bus right above the bar. We'll check out the inside of that bus shortly. I'll also show you more of the outdoor part when it stops raining a little bit, and we'll try some of the food here at the Grateful Shed. everything in here. So you got your rib food truck, you've got your grilled cheese food truck, you got your tacos. I'm gonna try the pizza. They got a pizza and wings one over here. This place just goes on. And then they got a uh, bar over here and an actual bus, a city bus, a Greyhound bus actually. Just kind of hanging from the ceiling. Some more eating upstairs. All kinds of nostalgia in here. It's pretty neat. This food court is a little bit different than the one at your local shopping mall. You'll find the Grateful Shed on the Wisconsin Dells Parkway, right by Noah's Ark Water Park. In case you haven't noticed, the uh, makeshift vehicles are um, seats. Some tables, or I guess makeshift tables are uh, old vehicles. These uh, doors open up. And then they have uh, seating outside. This is a uh, entertainment stage you have over here, but outside you can uh, definitely enjoy the, uh, they got fire pits I know. You'll see one way out there. And there's another one at the end there. And uh, they do some live entertainment outside as well. So all kinds of neat things going on here at the Grateful Shack. So the food is starting to come out. You just go to your various food trucks, order what you want, and you can hang out at one of the many tables that they have here. It's almost like a food court with food trucks. And then they, of course, give you the uh, table thing or the thing to let you know when your food's ready. Kelly's here. Hi, everybody. And she went with the taco truck. Yep. All right, so what did you get? So I got two street tacos, one fish, one chicken, and chips and salsa. All right. And you said this was 27? Yeah. Wow. And then these two drinks. And then we got a couple drinks, cheeseburger here, some fries. fries. But yours alone was 27? Yeah. Holy smokes. Yeah, you saw the receipt. Huh. I much, hope it table. tastes awesome for 27. That's actually a lot of money, I think, for uh, yeah. I It agree. looks good, though. Yeah, no, it does look good. It's it does look good. Mm -hmm. I wonder if they give you a discount with like a uh, AAA card or something. <laughs> place, you know, with all the vehicles in here. Yep. It's really, really neat in here. So they're seating all over. They do have the entertainment stage behind me, which on weekends I know they have stuff going on. The sign up front just says, um, Dueling Pianos on Friday nights here yeah. at the Grateful Shed in Wisconsin Dells. So we're big fans of Dueling Pianos, so I think we'll have to come back and that. check that yeah. out. All right, so Kelly's working on her first bite. What did you eat, the uh, taco? Yeah, chicken taco. Yeah. It's pretty good. It was cold. Oh, it was cold? Yeah. I'm guessing it's not supposed to be cold. <laughs> But it's been sitting for a while, and there's a fan that is just like blowing all everything all over. But it's fine. So the taco yeah. is okay. It's tasty. It's just yeah. not warm anymore. It's not twenty-seven dollars tasty. No, absolutely not. Right. All right. What about your? Uh, the chips are fine. Chips, salsa just regular there. chips and regular salsa. Yeah. Hey, you got your yep, Mexican glass Coke. bottle of Coke. Oh, this is Mexican Coke. Uh huh. Oh, how many pesos was it? <laughs> <laughs> we had that in. Um, when we went to Cosmo. Yeah. Most Mexican restaurants will serve it. Okay. Yeah. So that's working. Would you say that this is more American Mexican or a true Mexican taco taste? I think it's kind of right in the middle. Yeah. It's not, you know, really Americanized. It's tasty. So my pizza came from a different food truck. They are independent owners of these food trucks that are parked in here. And uh, mine had a different price tag. 
than Kelly's. We'll find out in a moment what it tastes like. Uh, this is what they call the Italian job. The only thing I had them take off or I didn't want were the green olives. Otherwise, it's just sausage and pepperoni and the cheese melted on there. So I just had my first my first slice. And the one thing I'll say is the cheese definitely, you gotta pull it. So that, that's a good sign, right? So here's what I thought of the first slice. Uh, they make it fresh from scratch here. And I would say it was good. Okay, so let's do a scale one to five, five being the best. I put it at average, three. It's not bad at least, right? Um, it kind of reminds me of a pizza that I would eat at an amusement park. Maybe more on the Disney level though. Not necessarily a, uh, not, not, not a frozen pizza, but you know, Disney will sometimes, their uh, quick foods um, are usually pretty decent. And this is a lot cheaper. It is oily. It's very, very greasy. I don't know if you can see some of the uh, grease on my hand there. It's probably not showing up too well, but you might be able to see the glaze. And it's just very, very greasy. But overall, I, I have no complaints. I would come back and eat this again, do this food truck again. So not bad for $10. Just grab the stairway going up here to check out the Greyhound bus. You know what I just noticed on the side of the bus? It says Great Hound, like Grateful Shade, not Greyhound. That was wrong. This is more like a city bus, though. Hey, guys. Excuse me, the front of the bus? <laughs> Our bus driver is just relaxing. The Great Hound City Bus. That is pretty wild. An actual bus that you can sit and eat in, and it's kind of suspended. They have their little merch set up here. And one thing I noticed, which is pretty neat, nice way to repurpose the old fridges and freezers from back in the day there. Those things are old. Check out these old license plates going up the stairs here too. And uh, yeah, they are all different states, not just Wisconsin. <laughs> Looks like a private event up there. So this is the, remember this, uh, this food truck here, but do you remember uh, National Lampoon's Vacation with uh, Cousin Eddie over there? There's Chevy Chase. It's pretty neat how they uh, got this set up. They even had the lights set up the way uh, Cousin Eddie would probably do it. Duct tape works on everything. Other days, this place is crowded up here. It's uh, a rainy day here in South Central Wisconsin at the Grateful Shed in Wisconsin Dells. It's definitely a place that you should try, and because it's it's very uh, touristy, and that's that, that's what this town's all about tourism. It's uh, very unique. I can't say uh, it's interesting. A flashing pole. Um, I can't say I've ever been to like a food truck food court it just reminds me of a food court inside a shopping mall but there's food trucks and I would have to say overall I was pretty happy with mine I know Kelly was not married to hers and I got to tell you 27 bucks for what they uh, what she got yeah that was a bit outrageous but my food truck uh, when I went to the uh, pizza one from that one that was uh, ten dollars is a 10 inch pizza it was pretty greasy, but you know what? It was good. And that's a quick review of the Grateful Shed in Wisconsin Dells. If you're going to be coming to the Dells this summer or any time as they are open all year long, check this place out. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. You'll see me on the next one. Subscribe now.